My brothers and sisters in Christ, there is a wide gap between coming to know of God and coming to know God. And the first reading today we hear as St. Paul's journeys take him to Athens, that famous center of Greek culture, and of course, for many of have studied any time, the, the mythology of the Greeks, their perception of the, the world and the cosmos. And so Paul preaches the Christian God, and we hear that some are open to listening, others scoff at him as a fool, uh, while others outright convert. But he speaks on the basis of looking at some of their statues and things and the concept of an unknown God. And he uses this as a basis to preach. He, to, to use the language of someone like Pope Francis, he meets them where they are and uses that as a springboard to speak the truth to them. And so he, he speaks of a way of coming to know God for those that have no basis in the, the Mosaic law and certainly not of having received the gospel before. But he does so knowing that it is possible to come to know of God even before these things. This is the natural law inscribed on our hearts uh, as human beings and as rational creatures. This is why throughout the study of philosophy, many have come through, through various forms of argument to rationally seek to prove the existence of God without any need uh, of faith or divine revelation. And so the fact that God is is knowable without God revealing himself to us in any way. The fact that God exists is knowable just in principle. However, it's another step to know God, and that is the beauty of our Christian faith, not just to come to the understanding that God exists and to react in that in some way, but to truly know God who reveals himself to us and is drawn close to us. And so Jesus, the incarnate word, has come to earth, has gathered his disciples to himself, has revealed the love of the Father to them. But in this continuing Last Supper discourse, he shares that even though he's drawn and revealed what he can uh, of the great love of God, just think of the words we heard this past Sunday, I, I've not called you slaves, I call you friends. But he also says to them as he prepares to go that there's much more he has to say that they can't handle. But as the Holy Spirit comes as an advocate, all will eventually be revealed to them. So it is with us. Our journey as Christians is not one just coming in our intellect to know that God is. Some struggle with that, but that's just merely a first step. Sometimes that's the stopping point, all too easy, is that we just acknowledge that God is, or that Jesus is, or that We've been commanded to do certain things, but that in of itself is not enough. Our journey of Christian faith is coming to know, to be deep in relationship with the living God, and truly to enter, in our language, to be in communion with him. God does not desire to be aloof, but he has created us to love and be loved, to be drawn into the communion of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And so, while a first step in evangelization may always be helping others to know that God is in the face of atheism or secular humanism, uh, a certain rationalism, yes, there's the, the place to, to show that God indeed is real. But beyond this, it's not just that God is out there, but that God has drawn close to me and that I embrace having relationship with him. To truly come not just to know of God, but to know God, who has first known me. May God bless you all. Mm -hmm.